What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. I already made a detailed building review about this Technic Batmobile set and I have to say that I liked it. By the way, if you did not see my video, then you have a chance to watch it now by clicking on the link in the top right corner. Based on the comments, some of you like it, but for a lot of people it is not a real Batmobile and they say it very much looks like Dom's DOS Charger, some even say it's also based on a DOS Charger. Well, as I showed you in my previous video, apart from being black and roughly the same scale, they are really not that similar. According to some online sources, the car is based on a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda with a Ford Triton V10 engine mounted at the back. So, I very much like the details and the building techniques used, but I have to agree that the choice of wheels is debatable. First of all, the different sizes at the front and at the back, and also the low profile tires. The front fenders are also pretty big compared to the wheel size on the LEGO model, but the main problem is that we don't really have any proper references to compare to. So the question is, how does the real Batmobile look like? You would think that finding the answer to that is pretty easy, but it is not actually. Since the movie was not yet released, there aren't many photos or videos available. The car briefly appears in the trailers, but not much is visible. Here's one screenshot from the trailer. As you can see here, the car seems to be lifted with a long suspension travel. Unfortunately, the front wheels are barely visible, so we cannot really see the size difference. In the second shot, the Batmobile seems to sit much lower. The tires almost completely fill the wheel arches. And here's the photo from the LEGO building instructions. This one looks like the second screenshot from the trailer. The car sits very low, but due to the perspective, the size difference between the rear and front wheels is not visible. So, what other sources do we have? We have to look for more toys, of course. I bought this Hot Wheels car for reference, and as you can see, it actually has different wheels at the rear and at the front. It's not an optical illusion, here's a quick measurement to prove it. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Technic version. I made the Hot Wheels car proportionally larger. The designers seem to work with the same source material in these two cases. The wheels match, and not only the diameter, but the low profile tires as well. We can also clearly see what shapes they try to replicate in the LEGO Technic version. So, this Hot Wheels car kind of confirms the wheel choice for the set. Well, this one does, but what about this one? This is also a Hot Wheels toy, but a much bigger 110 scale version. It can be pre-ordered for a whopping 500 bucks, but will only be shipped next summer. Now let's compare the two Hot Wheels cars. Something doesn't feel right here. The bigger one looks like an off-road version of the Batmobile, just like the first screenshot from the trailer. Higher build, beefy tires at the front and at the rear as well, and the size is the same. Maybe there are actually different versions in the movie as well. Depending on the environment, Batman stops for a quick pit stop in the Batcave and Alfred quickly swells the wheels. Oh, by the way, just to make it more confusing, there's another LEGO incarnation of the Batmobile that was just released in the US. Unfortunately, we still have to wait in Europe until the 1st of January. This car seems to have the same wheels at the front and at the rear, although the rear of the car sits much higher. No low profile tires either here. Which one is the correct version then? We don't know for sure, but I think the Batmobile in the movie might have different suspension setups or even different tires in different scenes, but we will have to watch it to know for sure. And what does that all mean for our Technic Batmobile? If we trust this smaller Hot Wheels set, then the tire size and choice should be fine. But I have to agree, the front fender looks still odd compared to all other versions. Would it be better with the much smaller fender piece from the rally car and other sets? Well, this wheel size definitely looks better in it, although we would need additional pieces to continue the curve and fill the whole side area. Additionally, the concept up here would have to be changed for sure. Usually it's very easy to criticize the work of LEGO designers, but I'm sure they went through dozens of options before settling with this one. Might not appeal to everyone, but I'm sure is the result of several different compromises. So, from a subjective point of view, the lifted version with the fat tires definitely looks better for me. But can we replicate that on the Technic version? Well, it's not easy for sure. LEGO does not seem to have a proper alternative that would have similar dimensions and a taller sidewall. For the first side, the front tires of the 1989 Batmobile look much better at the rear. How about mounting them at the front as well? Remember, the front axle sits one module lower than the rear one, so the wheel there is behind the fender. This looks cool, but in reality the tire is rubbing against the pieces and it is not possible to steer anymore. I don't want to modify the front axle for this demonstration, so here's a simple trick that I saw in Jim's review on Eurobricks. 
Let's simply use another hole in the rim for the demonstration. The review is by the way definitely worth to check, it has amazing photos as always. So this setup is much closer to the bigger Hot Wheels version, but the illusion only works from this perspective. Unfortunately from the rear it is clearly visible that these tires are way too narrow and they look kind of stupid. And no, mounting two of them at the rear does not resolve the problem either. As you see these tires should be this wide and they should practically look like miniature tumbler tires. Those by the way are way too big for this car size, it looks like a monster truck with them. Here's another alternative, but this one does not look good either. What about the tires from the Zetros? Nope, not better at all. So I don't really think there's a better tire option from the current lineup and although I would love to see more and more tire and rim variations for Technic, I understand that LEGO cannot produce a new one for every single set. Maybe we will find something better from a third party. And what about the real look of the Batmobile, especially the wheels? Well, we don't really know yet. I hope to see more of this instead of this or this, but I think we really have to wait for the movie to see which version is the proper one. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap that notification bell if you don't want to miss my upcoming LEGO reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye.